Hi, it's Jeff from Ludum Press. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. It's the first vid for the year. It's been a while, but I've been busy. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is two unboxing for Star Wars Legion. Star Wars Legion is a game that some of you may have played, may have not played. We're just going to look at the boxes. These are two Stormtrooper boxes. So we'll just do an unboxing here. The first one we're going to look at is the Stormtroopers unit expansion. So that's a seven, have a look at the back there. That is a seven figure box there. A couple of heavy weapons, cards, let's have a look. And after that, we'll then go in and we'll look at this Imperial Stormtrooper upgrade expansion as well. So we'll just take a look at these two boxes. So I haven't opened any of these yet. Let's go in and have a peek, shall we? Pop this open, okay. So what do you get in there? You get two chambers. So this one, let's get all this out. All right, nothing else in the box. Let's have a look at what we got. Okay, so the, one of the first things you'll see in there is a quick assembly guide for the troopers. So let you have a bit of a look at that. It's a bit glossy, that's a bit better. You better look at those, at those troopers there. Pretty easy assembly main bodies together and everything. I'll show you a quick look at them. There's a component list down the bottom here, listing all the components for the game. And there's just some game details on the back. So um, you probably don't even need that. It's a bit self-explanatory. Okay, so this is a little Ziploc bag, so you don't have to cut it open. Have a look. Get some cards and some chits for the games. Because I'm not familiar with the game, I won't know what all these are. So there's an example have a look at the back there get those and we get the stormtrooper card let's get in and have a bit of a focus in on that see if you can have a see that there and then detail on the stormtroopers on the back a little blurb right so we also get one two three four five of these cards stormtrooper dt19 it's a heavy gun HH-12, it's a missile launcher, um, impact grenades, description on uh, what's in an impact grenade, grappling hooks, because everyone needs a good grappling hook, and then we're back to our Stormtrooper card. Okay, so they're the little cards you get as well. And out, these are resin, so let's have a look at this one here. This is your heavy gunner. So they're not like, they're not like, um, they're not like Warhammer minis in that um, everything has to be assembled on the back and put on. So in this case, the two arms are attached to the weapon there. You can see it there. Um, the backpack is already on. The legs are already on. And it's just a matter of clipping it in and fitting the arms on. And they probably just snap fit in. There's a bit of flex. Uh, I can feel that there's a bit of flex in that. So it's actually a plastic and not necessarily a resin. So that you can feel that. Great detail. Uh, excellent, excellent detail. And just looking by eye, these are probably like a Heroic 32. They're a pretty big figure. I'd say they're on par with a, with a Warhammer figure, which I don't have on hand to show you. So that's the uh, Heavy Gunner. There are seven figures in the set. Rather than me pull them all up. So what you would need to do is just go through these figures. Um, Having a quick look, I didn't see a lot of trimming required on the figures, which is great. So they look like they're already ready to bounce, pretty much. Um, so that first set is a seven-figure set. So actually, you can probably get a better look at all the figures on the back of the box here. So you've got three standard blaster shooters, a command figure, a DT-19 heavy gun, uh, another shooter figure and a rocket launcher up the back. So that's that's the equivalent of like your standard squad um, Seven figures. So that's not bad. Um, fair bit of stuff in there um, Very impressed with the quality of the minis. Let's have a look at the other expansion pack now. Nice and sealed in the pack Okay, so this is the expansion. So this is a four figure uh, Heavy like a heavy weapons expansion. So we'll throw all that out. Have a look. Once again, you've got the 
chips again, which are in the, uh, that's a standard game, heavy card. It's about 2-3 mil. Um, have a look at those. And then on the back, so you get that. Then you get the cards for your unit. So in this case, it's uh, another Stormtroopers card. And precise one is on the back of that card. There's all the details. Right, you also get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So you get a Stormtrooper Captain, Stormtrooper Specialist card, T21, that's a heavy gunner, uh, another RT-97, it's another heavy blaster, uh, offensive push, smoke grenades if you need some cover, electro binoculars, uh, they give you spot bonus, and then we're back to the captain. So there's half a dozen cards there that come with the pack. Same as in the other pack, you get the standard bases. And the feet, they're glue straight onto that. It's a dead flat surface. So you have to glue the bottom of the feet and glue them on. Um, maybe not the strongest sort of setting. Now, these figures are quite different from the ones I showed you in the other pack. These figures are a bit more like Warhammer figures. You've got independent arms and independent pack. So I'll give you a quick look at this figure. I won't take them out of the bag. There's too much stuff rumbling around. But I think you can get a pretty good look at them from there. Um, excellent detail. But this is obviously, I think this is a newer box. Um, and the detail is much more like a Warhammer detail. So I'm assuming with this you can do more poses. Because you can manoeuvre the arms around a lot more. And all the figures are the same. So in these ones, they all... Uh, in this expansion they all have their legs but there's no in the other pack you had like the two arms were mounted together um, and then you would flex it on into position in this you've got independent arms so I'm assuming those independent arms allow you to move the figures around um, and to change some detail so we can see on with these um, stormtroopers in particular they're all got different backpacks so if we go back I'll just show you all the figures on the back of the box of this. So this expansion has four figures. You've got a command figure with binos, a heavy blaster, another blaster there, uh, and just a shooter in the back there. And they've got these like com style packs on. So I hope you gave you an idea of what you get in the pack. So basically with each pack you get the figure in a little bag, comes in pieces, the um, Imperial Stormtroopers is a lot more manoeuvrable. It's more like a Warhammer figure, separate arms, separate pack, stick it all together. The earlier, I think what is the earlier version, the Stormtrooper unit expansion, that's more both arms are on the weapon and a bit less flexible in the posing. Hope that gave you a good overview of what you get with them um, and definitely worth taking a peek at, especially now with the prices. Um, you can't buy resin minis online from eBay or anything like this that can beat this price. Alright, as always, uh, what I always say, happy gaming, stay safe folks. Thanks, bye.